What can I say about Thiago? <laughs> he was the love of my life. He was a determined, passionate, slightly younger young man from the favelas. So he really knew pain. And you were going to get married? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, he was coming to the UK uh, for us to get married. But he uh, urgently needed an operation before he could travel, which uh, turned out to be incredibly expensive. Mm. <laughs> and I know by the look on your face that you're thinking what everyone thinks. Older woman giving a younger man online money. But I actually trained as a systems analyst, so I'm actually very logical in my thinking. And uh, he really did need the operation. And hmm. uh, uh, what, uh, what happened? His head had got crushed by a horse. It turns out he was an Olympian show jumper, which uh, uh, is quite unusual for someone from the favelas. And you gave him? £57,000. <laughs> I started experimenting with having relationships with inanimate objects about two months ago and I cannot recommend it highly enough. I'm dating multiple objects because I realise you can get different things from different objects. You can get warmth, company, sensuality and also sometimes just a really lovely hug. <laughs> and what does your ex-husband think as you're still living together? Yes, Martin and I are still living together. I don't really know what Martin thinks because he never really says anything. So I'm very used to not hearing back. Martin, would you like a cup of tea? Martin, can you put the bin out, please? Martin, I've cut my finger quite badly. Could you get the plasters, please? Martin! And you said you still sleep in the same bed together, right? Yes. And Martin, do you find that a problem? Not at all. He seemed more upset when I gave the £57,000 to Chiago. Martin, 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 Martin. 